I'm talking again about the, uh, the Jurassic Park type research uh, and DNA uh, extracted from those ancient organisms. So uh, uh, after looking through the scientific literature, I realized that they have extracted DNA from uh, two leaves, uh, two different leaf specimens, uh, two magnolias, uh, a halite, a wood gnat, uh, two termites, and a tree, five bees, and a weevil. And all of those, except for the weevil, are around the age from, uh, according to the evolutionary uh, time scale, about 11 to 30 million years old, according to radiometric dating and other dating methods. Uh, and so uh, the question is, uh, how do we explain those? Oh yeah, and the weevil is actually 120 to 135 million years old, so that one's especially old. Uh, so how, how do we explain this? Um, from an evolutionary standpoint, we can say, well, maybe the DNA survived all those millions of years in the organism. Or they can also say maybe the DNA is, is contaminated. Maybe it is uh, uh, a modern DNA. Uh, or from a creation perspective, uh, we can say maybe the DNA isn't that old, uh, and maybe the rock isn't that old either, because uh, uh, because the world isn't that old. And uh, here are the three possibilities. Okay. I had to skip ahead a little bit, and I guess I forgot about this part, but you actually mentioned DNA not surviving because you give examples of various organisms that they got from the movie, and they later discovered, like I had said, or you had originally said, I had read this before, but you had actually said in your video that it was very unlikely that DNA would have spot. Let's listen to you talk about this, because I honestly did forget about this, and I think it's important that, you know, you have your say on it. Three possibilities. Um, uh, so I, I don't think the first two uh, are very plausible at all. Uh, when we talk about the first one, can the DNA survive? Uh, the majority of the scientific community uh, doesn't think so. Uh, the first person, so far as I know, that uh, did laboratory experiments with DNA, how fast it lasts, uh, or how long it lasts uh, in when it, the organism dies to the DNA. Uh, it, when it, 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 an organism that's alive, an animal that's alive, it repairs itself. But when it's dead, it doesn't. And so be destroyed very quickly. Um, so he said about 10,000 years and the DNA would be completely destroyed. Uh, most scientists today, in more modern science, we say uh, when it's well preserved, uh, it might be able to survive for a maximum, under the best preservation, uh, maybe 130,000 years. So, you think, or did I get that right? You don't think the DNA would survive that long because the scientists say it would survive for at max 130,000 years. So, we're going by that deduction, are we saying that the universe went from young Earth 6,000 when we're kind of now up to 130,000. Are you agreeing with those scientists in your conclusion of why DNA would survive and therefore concluding with them that 133,000 is a correct notion? Of which animals that would have been around a lot longer, their DNA wouldn't have survived. Hmm? I noticed in the, in the in-between part I skipped over, you talked a lot about contamination in labs, too, and stuff. Just to be fair on that. Okay, since you go specifically into the 
the dating process again, and you talk about the machine and contamination. I thought we'd let you continue a little bit on that, because uh, it's pretty interesting. You know, um, and again, one of your conclusions is again pretty interesting. Let's listen. We don't think it's likely that the DNA survived that long. Um, but what about the other uh, possibility? Uh, uh, science scientists say uh, maybe the DNA uh, from the laboratory, maybe the DNA, modern DNA from the machine got onto the sample, and it, the machine actually brought up the uh, DNA from the modern, and we're actually looking at the modern DNA from somewhere, and it's not actually the original DNA from the sample because there wasn't any. Well, um, when you, the machine that does it is called PCR. Uh, it's a big uh, a thing that amplifies the DNA, and it is very important um, to uh, to uh, learn about the, or be careful with the contamination with this machine because in this DNA samples, the DNA there's not much left. It's degraded uh, greatly. So that the machine isn't uh, amplifying a whole lot of DNA. But uh, so that's a big issue. But uh, it's also important. Did you catch a statement there? We have to. They have to be careful of modern DNA because the DNA they are working with is greatly depleted. What greatly depletes this? Time. Lots of time. We've already established that it's somewhere around the maximum of 130,000 years. 131,000, I think we said. <clears throat> so, it looks like with these samples that are so degraded, much more time has been spent. I have to say, except for a few Bible verses, um, you're really making some actual points for the scientific validity of your argument. Right? Sounds pretty solid to me. Um, except for the one scripture part. Well, um, hmm, very interesting. 